Hey everyone, this is Brian from Red River, and today we're going to go over some features inside of Teams that might help teachers interact with students with the upcoming school year. A lot of teachers have gotten the notification that we're going to be doing remote learning again, but what a lot of them don't know is that Microsoft Teams has been specifically built in order to help teachers interact with students, track assignments, and things like that. So today we're going to go over how to create some assignments in Microsoft Teams. If you have an education tenant, when you log into Microsoft Teams, you'll notice that the view is a little bit different. And this is an optimized view to help you show which classes that you're currently a part of and help the interaction between teachers and students. I'm going to go ahead and click on my algebra class. And there's a few channels here, similar to the way that you'll have some channels in, in standard Microsoft Teams. On the general channel, if you take a look at the top, you'll see a tab for assignments. You can also get to assignments on the left hand pane. I'll click on assignments and if you've never clicked on it before, it'll have a get started. But here's a few sample assignments that we've done. You can set some due dates and see how many students in the class have turned it in and so forth. But we're going to go ahead and create a new assignment. So I'm going to click create. You'll have a couple of options here it's for an assignment or a quiz um, and that's being backed by Microsoft form. And if you have an existing template, you can go ahead and upload it from there. I'm going to click assignment, give it a name. Enter some instructions if there's additional things or add some resources. I'm going to go ahead and grab a document directly from my computer, but you can use a OneNote, you can use OneDrive, you can use a link to a, a video or something like that that you've created or create a new file directly from here. Once I've uploaded that document, I'm going to hit done. You can assign how many points this assignment has. If it was a project or another type of assignment, you can add a rubric that's completely customizable so all of your students know exactly what to expect from you. Choose who you're assigning it to and click assign. Once that assignment is created, you'll notice that it pops up on the general tab. Now, if I flip over to a student view, The students going to see that in their team there was there's a new notification inside the algebra group. The student can go ahead and take a look at the assignment. I'm going to go ahead and click on view assignment. I'll see the due date, how many points are available, any instructions that the teacher gave for me, and look at the reference questions. So clicking directly on the reference questions, I can see the um, homework that I need to go ahead and do. I'm going to close it out, and then. After I've done my work, I'm going to go ahead and add it and upload it in. After I've turned in my work and checked it, I'm going to go ahead and hit turn in. And there will be a little notification for me letting me know the time that I turned it in and that that assignment is complete. Flipping back over to the teacher view, when I take a look at the assignment, I have the student's view, I have the teacher view, and I can scroll down to see all of the different students that have turned it in. I can give them direct feedback here, or I can go ahead and take a look to see what they've done. I see that the student has gone ahead and turned it in. I can grade the work, give them how many points that they got for it, enter any feedback, and hit return. Once I've hit return, this document's going to go back to the student and let them know what grade they got. If I want to scroll through at the top to the different students, I can just simply do that up here. No one else has turned in that report yet. In that assignment, I'll be able to see all the documents I have left to grade, all the stuff that has been graded, and, and returned. Now in the general channel, you'll also see a grades tab. If I go ahead and click on grades tab, I'll be able to see all of the assignments that I've given over the semester, who's turned them in, what, what points in, I've given to them. And at the end of the semester for tallying up the grades at the end, I can just simply export to Excel and have Microsoft track all, track all this information for me and really cut down on the amount of work that I have to do to get this final grade out to the student. 
All right, that's it today. Remember to like and subscribe if this was helpful for to you, and join us again next Tuesday when we'll have some additional information. Thanks.